Um, that was just a decision based on uh, some of the things we've seen in the last game. It's been good for us, um, but we needed a collective team effort. We're six games into the season, and um, we just wanted to. Um, there were just like a, a bazillion reasons. Like she's going into national team camp. We have to get p other people time. Kaya is finally healthy, and uh, so we just decided to mix things up. And um, she'll be back on the field here once she gets back from the national team camp. Was that the decision you had made earlier in the week? Did she know that? Or was no, that we, made the de we made the decision um, yesterday and then I uh, let her know this morning so um, that we just have as little disruption as possible for the team. Yeah, I mean, I've been a fan of Kaya's obviously all of last year and um, have been excited about who she can be as a player um, in this league and the opportunity to play in and amongst and around some of the best in the world, I think is going to help her be one of the best players in the world. And she's excited. She's been unhealthy, had a little bit of uh, Achilles bugging her for a while. And um, that's why it was important for me today to get her on the field um, before we lose Heyo and, and Sid, um, just to prove that our team isn't about two players or three players or four players we've got a good mix of people that can give us um, good options coming off the bench or even getting their own starts how great yeah I told her today I go what's wrong with the easy sitters you know like they <laughs> get a couple opportunities there where I think she could have easily put it in but that's kind of Kai Kai likes to score those big like um, amazing goals so uh, she did it with her style I guess yeah, I think Leanne's been our best performer consistently. You know, we talk about Leanne Sanderson, uh, and and it kind of gets lost, like all the work she does on um, the ball, but also off the ball, her defensive work. And I'm just really proud of what she's added to our team and what she, how she's added to our game. And um, she's been a really special find, I think, for us. I thought our midfield. Um, carried our team a little bit. I mean, I, you can talk about Kaya being good and Shep being good and Heyo being good. They were certainly that. But uh, Mariah, Joanna Lohman, and uh, Leanne just gave Washington no time to be successful on the ball. And uh, when we, they did make mistakes, they just came back and won it quickly. And I was just really impressed. Mariah Nagara, rookie, being dominant in the air. So I thought it was a good team performance. And we're happy to get the first shutout of this season for the Breakers. I was just going to ask, she didn't face any shots on goal, but Cecilia gets the gets the shutout. Hey. Youngest goalie to get a shutout in a professional league. What do you what do you say about that? Yeah, I think she was good in behind. I mean, a lot of times you think about shutout or shots on goal, but there were crosses she had to deal with and some through balls she had to deal with, and uh, she was good coming out. So I've been impressed with her progress um, coming forward. And I think they did have one shot on goal where she, like, skirt across. It was pretty close on goal. <laughs> So, but um, I'm impressed with the defense's defensive effort today. It's a good team win. And you've got three weeks off, so what's really the game plan for those? Yeah, days? you know, um, get the team back, and we've got a lot of games in a little bit of time, so get healthy, get a little bit of a break, so that uh, people can rejuvenate, and then just really hone down. You know, um, get, you know, there's just there's some things we need to work on, you know, in the attacking third and stuff, but um, just day by day and um, little by little, you know, keep chipping away and stuff. So. Yeah, this wasn't our best performance, we gotta put that behind us. So, I mean, I think most of the season we've been playing um, some good soccer, just haven't gotten the win. So, we need to build off that, you know, and not, um, you know, have this in our back pocket, but keep moving forward, so. Any goalkeepers so far this year? What do you think of Chantal Jones? Oh, she's been awesome. She played wonderful in Portland um, last Sunday, and then tonight she did a great job. You know, it's not easy to come after you haven't been playing very many games um, to come off the bench and start and um, put in good performance, but she's been terrific. Perfect, you know, and um, she showed again tonight. So I said to the girls before the game we were in our huddle, I said it, the, it feels much better when you win um, in training, going to train on Monday. It feels so much better when you win a game. And obviously, after last week's defeat, we wanted to um, get the win under our belt. I mean, every you're going to lose a game in a season. It's just important how you bounce back, and I think we bounced back great tonight. It was a great all-round team performance. Um, I was happy to get three assists. But at the same time, it was a great all-round team performance. I mean, um, I thought our defence was fantastic tonight. We looked really confident. And I think uh, we've worked on in training this week about confidence and touches on the ball and being comfortable on the ball and not giving away possession without any um, defence against you. So I think the 
girls did really great tonight, especially the defence. And obviously it comes from the back. If they're confident, it reads through to the midfield and into the front line. And I think um, Kaya coming in tonight did an absolutely great job with Shep. They worked really hard. And um, I think that went throughout the team. Everybody worked really hard tonight. I mean, Washington are not a pushover. They're just coming off a decent run um, away at Portland and stuff like that. So it was important for us to get uh, the win tonight. And it feels great to get the win. And with uh, Heyo, um, she's great to play. I just love playing with great players. I love playing in this league. Um, I love playing football. I love playing soccer. And it's the best feeling when you get to come out here and do it for a living. And I love playing. Um, I'm obsessed with it, to be honest. But at the same time, I love playing with Heyo. I love playing with great players. And Heyo is a great teammate. She works hard. And she works hard for the team. And she's great. She's a great soccer player. I mean, um, I like to. Uh, I actually get a lot of joy out of assisting other people. I know a lot of people would say that, but I haven't scored this year, which obviously I want to score some goals. But at the same time, as long as the team win and I can keep assisting like I am, I'm happy, I'll happily do that all the time when we win games. Um, and I'm happy with my performance. I think I'm the kind of player that looks at what I can do even better. Um, and there's times when I said to my dad just now, there was a time the ball ran off my foot, and I heard my dad say, "Come on, Leanne." And we just, I just have high standards of myself. So a lot of people come up to me saying, "Oh, great game," but I always think about what I could have done better. I'll take like. The, the accolades and things like that but I always think about what I could do better and I'm happy that we won tonight it was a great team performance and I think that's what's good about our team tonight was probably the most comfortable win we've had all season um, and I felt like we were in control of the game for the most part um, and we looked like we looked like a really good team tonight and hopefully we can carry on with that next week against Sky Blue awesome. thank well, you I think that we feel great about this win um, it's our first shutout of the year which we're very proud of our defense has been very good so um, I think we're excited about keeping a clean sheet especially and uh, on the other side just to see some uh, some good goals being scored is exciting so sometimes you you do a lot of work and don't really see the end result and today we were able to see the end result of, two, of three great goals. Was it the most complete effort of the season? I think that uh, yeah maybe uh, maybe you, you're right with that I think defensively we were just so tidy in the back um, the midfield I think was sort of winning their duels especially Mariah Nagara in the air. I mean, she's just unbelievable. Um, and uh, we were digging out a lot of the second balls, which I think has been missing in maybe some previous games. And that allowed us to just sort of set play. And, and uh, we had a lot of uh, dynamic uh, runs and attack today. So it was exciting. It was cool. Uh, I mean, she's she's such a you know she's such an uh, incredible number ten for us. Uh, just her, um, you know, she's very savvy on the ball, but her runs forward is is just really threatening. I mean, she hasn't scored yet this season, but I think that everybody has seen um, sort of uh, how dangerous she is, and she's setting everybody up else up with incredible goals. Um, you know, she's she's really kind of a joy to play with as a as an attacking player because she's smart, she knows the game. You can tell that she's been around high level soccer and watched high level soccer her whole life. And uh, I think that it's, it really helps and uh, it's a lot of fun playing with her. Is your hamstring <coughs> okay? Because I saw you keep oh. <laughs> I literally got kneed in the butt. Okay. And that's why I was holding it. But uh, yeah, no, feeling good. So, okay. uh, you know, heading in with the US team tomorrow and obviously, you know, to go into a training camp with a game like this behind us is a, a positive. Not sure, are you? Yeah, I mean, nothing. Nothing can compare to an Olympic, you know, game or a World Cup game. But I think, you know, the rivalry is is strong between us and Canada, and um, I think they did a great job promoting this game. And it's cool to see soccer growing everywhere in the world, and uh, should be a great environment. I think it's sold out. Um, it's always just been a, such a great rivalry between us and Canada, and I think it's only escalated maybe the has last there, couple of years. Has there been any uh, <coughs> discussion between you and your no, Canadian? No, we have been very cordial, but there hasn't been much chat about the the game coming. Does that up. all change tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we probably won't, you know, chat too much when we're with our respective teams, and it'll be uh, it'll be interesting seeing each other on the other side again, but. Uh, you know, it's been really great meeting the, the girls, and they're the nicest girls in the world. So, it's always kind of a weird feeling when you actually find out that off the field, you know, these people are, you know, very kind. So, uh, it's been fun. I mean, soccer is a, a funny game.